Okay, so our next one is we just did a deepener, and af after you do a deepener, you're going to insert the actual hip uh, hypnotic suggestions. And these hypnotic suggestions can, you know, it all depends on what you're, you're going for. If uh, you want to do a more direct approach or a more indirect approach, depending on the client, you may have a specific um, school that you follow that that suggests that you do one thing or another. Like I prefer to do a lot of Ericksonian work, so I tend to be a little bit more direct, indirect. I I'm more likely to go off and try to find a relevant story to to talk, which honestly serves to make them even more relaxed. But this is when you're putting in all of these all of the suggestions. And it all depends really on what you're doing. I have a weight loss person who I was kind of putting in an aver uh, in some aversion to her. And when I was going in, I was actually telling her a little bit of a little bit of a story. And it was uh, about like, like bugs in, in in sugar cane or something. And she started reacting you could look, see the look on her face of ew you know but those were part of her suggestions those were mostly indirect actually I actually actually for her I put did put in some direct suggestions as well but I also did a lot of indirect in all fairness she was an ambulance so she could take anything anyway she made my life really really easy and um, after these with there's the hypnotic suggestions, which is what you're taking when you're in trance. There's also the post-hypnotic suggestions, which I figure I'll just mention in the same video because, well, quite frankly, they're they're related. A post-hypnotic suggestion is any suggestion that you're given when in this trance state that you're probably going to be doing once you come out. So if I'm putting in a suggestion, um, if you're okay. You're stop. You're going for stop smoking. And if you let's say you have a certain brand of cigarettes that you like, whatever. Um, I I don't smoke, so I legitimately have no idea how smokers think. And um, you, I go in and I'm telling you all this horrible stuff about cigarettes, etc., etc., etc. And you find yourself in a situation where you are about to reach for a cigarette. You know, an example of a post-hypnotic post suggestion is to be, to hear my voice shout no when you're reaching for a, a, a pack. That would be an example. Although I really, when I've been working with smoking cessation people, they never reached for a pack after usually the first session. So, um, that's just so it's just basically an example they already do kind of hear me in their heads because I put in post hypnotic suggestions for other things like a reminder when they see a stoplight that you know they're gonna stop smoking they're not gonna pursue it etc etc you know some post hypnotic suggestions that were placed on me because um, I figure I might as well be honest people have placed things on me and one of them I was partially coming out I was I was still compromised and that was fine because it was somebody I trusted luckily and um, he ended up putting in a suggestion for me to um, to go out and find a research a research article or start writing a research article or something it was it was kind of funny but when I I mean, I didn't notice it at the time, but a few days later, I saw myself in a situation where that thing came came out, and I, then I heard his voice, and I was like, I, yeah, I can't believe I just heard you do that. But uh, this, so here, that's an example of a uh, hypnotic suggestion or post-hypnotic suggestion. Sorry that this is, video is a little bit longer, but I wanted to hit them both at the same time since they were related.